Hello, my name is Joshua Mutu and welcome to Pixelmake. In the last video, we created the health bar using the UI elements and linked that to the ship's health. To watch that or any of the other videos in the series, click the link on screen or in the description below. If you want to start from this point in the series, you can always download our project off GitHub, where you can download the project from any point in the series. The link for that will also be in the description below. So in today's video, we will be creating the death explosion particle for the ship and asteroids. The difficulty of today's video is going to be the fluffy difficulty, so it won't be that hard to do. Before we start, we need to download and import the Unity Particle Pack, which I'll link in the description below. I'll also be moving this into the asset underscore import folder. Now that's imported, I'm going to set up the explosion particles. So for the ship, we're going to use the big explosion effect, which can be found in effects example, fire explosion effects, and prefabs. So I'm going to click and drag that into the scene. So I'm going to make some slight changes to this explosion. So first I'm going to rename it to ship explosion. Then I'm going to add it to our prefabs folder. So at the moment, if we run the game, the explosion will keep repeating and we don't want that happening. So to turn off the looping for all the particles, select the parents and all its child objects. And in the inspector where it says looping, uncheck that and it will turn the looping off. So now if we run the game, the explosion will only happen once. So I'm going to apply those changes. Also with the ship explosion, I'm going to select all of the objects apart from the parent, set the scaling mode to hierarchy so it scales with the explosion. Instead of running the game, you can also test out the particle effect by hitting restart or play in the scene view. So I'm going to apply those changes and for the asteroid, I'm going to use a slightly different explosion. So in the example effects, fire explosion effects, prefabs, I'm going to use the small explosion effect. On top of that, I'm also going to use the bullet impact sand effect, which can be found in example effects, weapon effects, and prefabs. I'm going to parent the sand effect on the explosion, and I'm going to rename this explosion to asteroid explosion. As we did with the uh, ship explosion, I'm going to select all of the objects and turn looping off. I'm also going to select all the child objects and set the scaling mode to hierarchy as well. And finally, I'm going to create a prefab for our asteroid explosion. Before we finish up, there's one more change we need to do. I'm going to select the sand effect. I'm going to reset the transform by right clicking and hitting reset. And then I'm then going to set the scale to 1.5. So that's all we got for today's video. So if we apply those changes and in the next part, we will be creating the code to spawn slash instantiate the explosions on both the ship and asteroids when they die. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to get the latest updates on our asset or any of our other content. Also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And for a behind the scenes look at what we're up to, follow us on Instagram as well. All those links will be in the description below. My name is Joshua Mutu and thanks for watching.